Hey guys, so I went to go get my sister something. I met her up someplace and I gave her something. Not drugs. <laughs> but it's a pork shoulder. I don't have room inside of the refrigerator, the freezer. So I said, here, get this, cook it at your house, and we'll go over another day and eat, right? So as I'm leaving the spot where I met her, I see this car just just cut me off and I'm like like he came inches from hitting me and I'm glad he did it all of a sudden I see another SUV and it cuts me off as well and the one car that cut me off turned into the parking lot and tried to go over the parking lot but there was a um, a van right so when he tried to back up the, the SUV behind him rammed him. So all I heard was a boom, like the sound. And I had my window up and the AC on and I heard it. All of a sudden I look up, as I look to my right hand side, I see nothing but cops just come out of the car with their gun, the guns drawn. And I thought my sister was behind me. I thought she had gone to the Burger King next to that. So I asked my sister, I'm like, oh my God, did you see that? She goes, did I see what? I'm like, a car just cut me off and went into the Burger King across where, where you're, you're at, the McDonald's. So I'm telling her all this. And then all of a sudden she goes, I'm not a, I'm not a McDonald's. Um, I already turned in to get on the turnpike. I'm like, oh, I thought you were a McDonald's. You didn't see none of this. She goes, no. So now I'm going back over there just to see what's going on but uh, the the truck that they hit was a business truck look look there goes all the cops see see look i'm not lying there goes all the cops they're going all the way over there to where i'm going now i don't know if you can see them because i didn't even have time to flip the camera there goes the blue light special hmm. they're just flashing their lights that's where they're going they're going to that burger king I gotta be going home, but I'm going to the Burger King to see what the hell went down. I've never seen that, but this neighborhood is terrible for that. Uh, oh, they're right there. Oh, no, I, I, I think there's an ambulance there. Oh, sh wait, did the car catch on fire? I see, no, I, it can't be that. It can't be, it can't be, no, it can't be that. I think that's the color of the building that's there. But there is, oh shit, wait, it did catch fire. Oh no, that's the bank. <laughs> I'm like, did, did it catch? Damn it, they blocked all sections of that. I'm going in there, okay, hold on, let me go this way. Okay, they don't have this section blocked off, so I could come in through here and then go in, oh crap, I just missed, missed my exit. Damn, flashing lights. You can't see with the flashing lights. I just missed my exit. My entrance, excuse me. Damn it. They're gonna be like, oh, what are you doing here? I'm recording for TikTok. <laughs> recording live for TikTok. All right, let me turn in here. Whoop. What the hell is this guy doing? So I saw it when it was actually going down. Oh, it blocked the whole thing of where the bank is at and everything. All right. Ah, oh, the cops are, are coming this way. Or they blocked, they even blocked the bank. They blocked the entrance to the bank. And the thing that's there is called the Wellmax. The truck that they hit. Oh my god. Okay, so I can't record anything from the bank or from anywhere else. So let me turn here. They blocked the entrance with a couple of Jeeps. And now they're putting. Uh, hold on, because I can't be recording this. All right, 
give me a second. Let me try to flip the camera. I can't flip the camera. Damn. See? So if you see, it says Wellmax. So the car that they hit was a Wellmax car. You can't even go to the Burger King because they blew off that off too. So yeah. Let me try this again. As you can see, there's a McDonald's right there. That's a McDonald's I thought my sister had gone to. And she told me, no, I didn't. I was right here when the, the car cut me off, like right there at the McDonald's. All right. There's a white car that cut me off and there goes the SUV. They pinned them from behind and all these cops just flew out of that SUV. Look at that. Let me put the window down so you guys can see. There's the Wellmax car it hit. It just rammed right into it, so there it is. It's all crashed up. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you real quick. And I have to go back the same way I came because I'm going to go get my mom some coffee. Uh, that, 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 was, that, was, that was scary. That was something else. I wasn't expecting something like that today. You know, the, 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 that chase, the car almost hitting me. Two cars almost hit me. The, the first one was the guy that I don't know what he was fleeing from the police and the second one was the dark SUV which was filled with cops it looked like one of them uh, circus cars like how many clowns could come out of a beetle <laughs> there was so many cops coming out of that car oh my god <laughs> all right guys I'll talk to you later <laughs> bye hope you enjoy the video So I came by here because I needed to go and do something real quick, thinking that this main street was going to be open, and they have it taped up, as you can tell. I don't know what happened, but the car is still there. They haven't moved it. There goes the SUV. Hold on. Let me close up. There goes the SUV that I was talking about that cut me off. They pinned the white car that's there, but they're covering everything. Let me see if I could get a video of the white car. There it is right there, the white car. You can't see it that well because all this is just so blurry. My phone is not excellent. But tomorrow I'll let you guys know what happened. But they closed down McDonald's, this whole street. I mean Burger King. This whole street is locked up from... I think that's 117 and this is 115. So they blocked all this off. I just came by to do something real quick and get some uh, get some footage for you guys to see what the hell happened. But tomorrow, I don't know for sure what happened. But there's investigators, everything. So I look, crime scene investigators. So I don't know what happened. All right, guys. So let me get out of here before they go. Hey, you got you need to stop doing that. <laughs> going to interview him right now. All right, so what I heard so far is an officer shot someone else and they took their person to the hospital. But as you can see, all the reporters are here and I'm like, uh oh, they might kick me out of here. It's because this is the reporter section. And they told the guy, you need to move. Look at Earlier this morning, working with 
The SUV that crashed. No, no, the as I mentioned before, the officers, the, the detectives that were that were part of the operation Community Shield, which we've been working on throughout the whole summer in specific areas, when they drove by here, when they noticed the vehicle that matched the same description that was being mobile on the radio, and when they approached it and looked at the tag, confirmed the tag, and they realized that this is the individual that was wanted for second degree murder, and the individual has been identified for that our home invasion. That's when they approached the vehicle. Do you have an age range on the suspect? Approximately 37 years old. Right? And uh, officer, how long has he been with your department? It's hard to know now because, again, that we do have psychological services that come out to the scene. These officers do attend their involved in such a traumatic incident uh, as, as this one. So at this point, we're allowing them, we're allowing him uh, to, uh, to be able to talk to his legal counsel and so forth in order for us to be able to get all the info we need. So we can get that far. The SUV that pinned. The SUV that pinned the, um, the black SUV that pinned the white car, was that part of the yes, chase too? Yep, so I was here when all that happened. All right, guys, so whatever else is here, I'm going to go ahead and get it off online.
they're ready to release the information. El Departamento de Cumplimiento de la Ley del Estado de la Florida está investigando un tiroteo policial porque involucra oficiales del Departamento de Policía del Condado Miami-Dade. Esto ocurrió